Hello everybody, welcome back to Jared Opens a Box, and we have another ep I don't know what word I was trying to say there. I was going to say fantastic, then I thought epic. But I epi heard epic, I haven't heard But epic that. sounds really cringy, especially in the context of this, I don't know, a very heroic episode. a nice episode, Connor. A very heroic yeah. episode. Oh, that's even worse, that sounds even... We're just going to move right on. <laughs> Anyways. We have an episode for you guys. Yes, we have another episode here for you guys. Uh, these are actually pops from a game I haven't even played on the channel. Um, that's because I do not have anything to play it on. Um, technically it is on PC, but I don't really know if I would trust my uh, PC to uh, play this game. Well, considering um, it's part of our stand. Part of, yeah, that too. Actually, the PC is actually part of our little stand holding the phone up here too. Um, so, but yeah, we haven't I, not been able to play this game yet. I don't know if I ever will. Um, it's going to just kind of depend on if I ever get anything that, that supports it, because the Switch does not. So, not, you know, it kind of is what it is. Um, we have pops from, the game we're talking about is Gotham Knights. Uh, these pops were actually delayed quite a bit. They were announced at Funko Ween last May, and they didn't start hitting stores until very recently, um, just this past month or so. Um, so, yeah, they, they took a while to come out. It was these ones, the Disney trick-or-treat ones, and some of the foodies pops, but they're all starting to slowly, um, make their way into stores now. Uh, but we have four Gotham Knights pops. I know there's more, technically more than that through the exclusives, but we didn't get any of those. Um, we're just doing the, the common pops. Um, I did get the Black Light Red Hood exclusive, thanks to a friend of mine, um, but... I'm not going to be opening that one up because I think that it'll be oh. really cool. You know, the Black Light Red Hood pop that we got? I didn't know that was what it was, but oh, yeah. I didn't know what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, uh, we're not going to be opening that one up because, um, you know, I thought that was really cool that he was able to help me with that. Um, but we do have the other four here. We have Robin uh, right there. We have Batgirl. Uh, we have Nightwing. And... We have Red Hood. So we have those four. I guess we'll just go ahead and get started with Robin. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, do you want to do Robin? <laughs> I don't know which one you wanted to do. But this is Robin uh, Pop Games number 800, uh, 892. I thought that was a six. That's 892. Uh, the box looks really cool. Um, has that purple background. That's just kind of the same background that's on the, uh, on the cover of the game. And then you also have the four logos for each of the heroes at the bottom there. I love the box. Personally. She loves the box. Yeah, she's she's been talking about that. Um, the numbers actually at the top of the box there are each correlating with the the characters' respective colors. Uh, Robin's is green, Red Hood's is red, Nightwing's is blue, and Batgirl's is yellow. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Funko actually did that detail. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see how uh, see how these look. I'll try not to bang up the boxes too much because Summer apparently wants to keep them. <laughs> I don't care if you bang them up. We just got these yesterday. I saw yeah, we did. Uh, we did. These uh, these took their sweet time coming in from Funko Shop. So, like literally almost two weeks. Yeah, we were we were very very lucky to have these in time for this week's video. Um, but there is Robin, actually a really cool pop. I don't really know if I even have any Robin pops. Um, this might be my first one, which is kind of crazy for my collection being as big as it is. Um, in all the videos we've done on the channel, I don't think we've even had Robin. I know we had a Robin soda. Um, but this is Robin as he appears in the game. I'm pretty sure this is the Damien Wayne Robin. Um, because, yeah, because we have, uh, Dick Grayson as Nightwing. And Jason Todd is Red Hood, so this would probably have to be Damian Wayne. Um, so this is a really, really cool Robin. He has some spiked hair. <laughs> He's got his traditional Robin's mask. Uh, the outfit, he has a little hoodie. That's the Robin outfit, a little hoodie, and some, like, tactical <laughs> green gear on under that. And then he has his little uh, staff right here, um, the classic Robin staff. Uh, really, really cool figure, honestly. I think it's... Uh, I think it's pretty nice. Do you have any opinions? It's okay. It's okay? I mean, I don't think it's like the craziest pop we've seen on the channel, but it's pretty cool still. Um, but yeah, there is Robin. It's kind of a, you know, I mean, there's not much else to say about that one. Uh, do you want to do this one? Go ahead. May I do this one? Okay. 
So this one is Pop Games number 893. This is Batgirl, uh, one of the other four uh, main selectable heroes in the game. Um, the box looks, again, pretty much the same, although, uh, again, the, the color of the number and that's pretty much it. This, the color of the number is yellow uh, to match Batgirl's color scheme on her outfit. So, um, let's go ahead and open this one up. Oh, you probably want to keep that, right? <laughs> so there's Batgirl. Oops, sorry. <laughs> And she does come with a base as well. We'll see if this one, if this one will actually work. Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, well, kind of. We'll figure that out later. Um, but yeah, this is Batgirl. Really, really neat. Uh, it's definitely a much, it's a, a little bit of a different suit than what we traditionally see from Batgirl. It looks like she has little bat ears <laughs> uh, peeking up out of her hair, which is kind of kind of funny. Um, she has the mask on. I am assuming this is the Barbara Gordon Batgirl. Uh, again, once I, if I ever actually get to play the game, I'm sure I will uh, understand that. Um, but yeah, there is the outfit right there. The yellow and purple, the two most vibrant colors there. She does have some black on there as well, but uh, it's definitely very vibrant with the yellow and the purple. Like the bat symbol is yellow. And, uh, and she's holding some sort of weapon. I'm not entirely sure what that would be considered, but <laughs> there is something in her hand there. Uh, and then she has a yellow cape. So that's, that's overall pretty cool. Um, I really like that figure. Looks really, really nice. What do you think? Cool figure too? Cool Obviously, no. these figures aren't going to be too crazy, you know, since they are just... <laughs> it was like Jeopardy music. Yeah, yeah you can play Jeopardy music right there. But these are characters that we've all seen before, so it's not going to be anything mind-blowing. I just like the boxes. I don't really like the characters. <laughs> They've just never done multicolored numbers before. Yeah, I think that's that's really cool. They actually did that detail. Uh, do you want to do one? No. Go ahead. No? <laughs> Why not? I have a headache. <laughs> I have a headache. I have a headache. Uh, I tell you what. Yeah, this weather's been crazy. Um, well, we have our next pop here. This is Nightwing. Pop Games number 894. I just realized we actually, we were going in order up until the last one. I didn't realize the last one was actually first. Um, so, oops. Uh, we were actually doing pretty good there. What? What? What do you mean? And, like, we were going in, in numerical order until uh. until Red Hood. Red Hood was actually 891, so <laughs> we, we went a little bit out of order there, but that's okay. Um, but, yeah, this is Nightwing, Pop Games 894. Um, again, the box pretty much the same. But his numbers are uh, blue, of course, because he is mostly blue. Uh, black and blue, actually. And I am assuming, again, I'm making complete assumptions here based off of uh, my knowledge of the comics. I'm assuming this is the Dick Grayson Bat uh, Batman Nightwing. Um, and that is actually a really cool figure. They actually made a 10 inch version of this one as well. It's exclusive to Walmart. I have not seen it in a store yet. But I know it was available in Funko Shop for a little while, so not sure if it's still there, but it was on there um, when they released all the other Gotham Knights pops. Uh, the other ones they made, there was an exclusive Glow in the Dark Batgirl and a Harley Quinn pop uh, from the games. I didn't get any of those. Um, <coughs> just wanted to stick to the main four here. Um, but yeah, overall, again, a really, really cool figure with Nightwing. Um, he has his little logo in the center of his chest, and he has some blue kind of scattered all over his mostly black suit. Um, the hair is kind of slicked back and he has a really cool bat styled mask. Um, and he has a nose. He does have a little nose there. I think the other ones, yeah, the other ones did too. Um, just no mouths. <laughs> Funko has that, you know, that weird thing. None of the characters have mouths. Um, but there is the It would back. look weird if they did though. It's like a tiny little mouth. I don't know. Maybe it not. Weird. <laughs> but there's some more cool logos in the back of his suit. And he has his little, um... I can't remember what exactly he calls these things, but he's used these in pretty much every form of media ever. <laughs> and I remember in Injustice, he used those as well. So that's really cool. Overall, again, another really, really snazzy figure for the Gotham Knights wave. I, I would like the blue. Yeah, I, I like the blue. Uh, but I, I saved my favorite character for last out of these guys, uh, Red Hood. I believe we have done a video before that featured him, but that was quite a couple years ago um, as part of a Pop in a Box video. Um, 
So we finally have him back on the channel again. Uh, it's Pop Games number 891. Sorry for those of you that have OCD about the numbers. <laughs> um, but there is Red Hood. He has the red numbers, of course, because he's red. Um, and yeah, there he is. And this is, of course, Jason Todd. I'm sure many of you comics lovers, uh, if you're watching this. Comics lovers? Comic lovers, whatever. Uh, I'm sure you know the story of Red Hood. Um, basically being a reincarnated uh, Jason Todd after he was uh, killed by the Joker. Um, so he has a very troubled history, uh, but he's still considered a hero, especially as you know, the story of Gotham Knights being that these four heroes have to come protect Gotham as Batman is dead, um, which is pretty crazy to think about, you know, a world where Batman is dead. But so that's why these guys are the heroes of the story. Um, Red Hood being the fourth selectable hero looks really, really nice, actually. The Red Hood that he's wearing is actually fairly well detailed. Um, a little dirty on the top there, but, you know, we take what we can get. He has the glowing white eyes, the rest of the, the red hood and the mask with some black textures as well on there. The back kind of looks like a VR headset for some reason. Um, <laughs> uh, then you kind of see the front here. He's in like a battle stance and he is wearing a hoodie with his symbol on it. Um, again, wearing the same like kind of tactical gear that uh, Robin was wearing, except red and uh, black instead of green and black. Um, all of that? What? Did y'all get all of that? Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Place. I don't think I. That was a lot of uh, a lot of words. I don't think I took a single breath in there. Um, but yeah, that is Red Hood. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, this video wasn't going to be anything too crazy because these are all characters we've seen before um, in some capacity. But I just thought it was really cool that they made pops for these because they don't really make pops for video like superhero video games very often. Um, bless you. Uh, they did do pops for the Midnight Suns game, but they just did one, and it was a pre-order bonus for the game. So, uh, anytime we get, you know, pops for a superhero video game, like a Marvel or DC superhero game, uh, I'll gladly jump on and, and review them, you know. Uh, everyone's driving super loud vehicles, of course, but as soon as I... It. Yeah, I know, they, they probably don't hear it, but I do. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and do our reviews. Summer's holding Robin and Batgirl, so we'll... Well, uh, oh, you're to grab oh, am I supposed to grab these two? All right. So, what are we gonna do for our reviews? I gave them all seven point five. <sighs> oh, that's actually okay. That's fair. But you do that because of the box. Box, I'm making an eight, but like, I don't know. I'm not doing boxes. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this video doesn't seem to pique your interest very much. No, I'm trying to sign this headache. Yeah, I, I get help. that. <laughs> yeah, but we the show must go on. You know, we <laughs> we gotta yeah, let's try to get these videos out for you guys. Um. I'm honestly not, you know, sometimes my sinuses kill me too. Um, but nonetheless, the Gotham Knights Pops, I'm going to give them all an 8.5. I think they are all actually very well, you know, very well detailed. They have a lot of great textures, stuff like that. I mean, Funko had like almost a year at this rate to release them, so I'm sure, you know, they were probably designed uh, pretty well. Um, what? He was standing on the step. Oh, he was standing on the step. He was. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for today, guys. Let us know down below which of these Gotham Knights pops is your favorite. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next one. Peace, Peace out, everybody. Out.